another really, really good competitive practice. They're having a lot of fun even at the end there. We go iron sharpens iron. They're, they're uh, really, really competing, have a good time with it. Primary focus today was something that we needed to get better at in the last game, and that was third down efficiency, especially offensively. Uh, looking at four of 18 uh, last game, um, really need to do a, a tremendous job this week against a good coverage team. Um, and I, I tell you, watching them offensively, I thought they did a great job last week of the third and manageable. You know, you didn't see a lot of third and longs. Um, they ran the ball. I think they only threw it about 15 times the entire game, um, and, and really had a great emphasis on getting that third and one to three, something that we need to focus on too. Um, right now, Toa um, is still with the knee. You saw him held out today. Um, we're waiting results from an MRI to see what's going on there. Khalil's still out with a hamstring. Pulled Deontay today with a little bit of a shoulder, uh, shoulder sprain. Um, Noah Jefferson still got a uh, bad shoulder. It'll be very questionable whether he can go or not. And then uh, John Plattenberg is still under concussion protocol. With that, I'll answer any questions that you got. Okay. Toa, I know he, he's played. Is there a concern that the MRI could show something that, that he'll be held out for? for yeah, we, there's always that concern. You know, Toa's had knee surgery on both knees, yeah. one in high school and then one last year. Um, you know, there was some fluid removed last night, uh, and, and a pretty good amount. Um, and and took an MRI, so we'll we'll see where it is. We're always going to be safety first with the kid, and if he can go, he's feeling better today. But uh, you know, when you have a, a kid that has a couple knee surgeries, you're going to be ultra careful uh, with it. So um, right now, it's about 50-50. Well, I'll get some better answers after we talk to the doctors tonight. Is there an update on Plattenberg, the timetable, or? I'm hoping you know every concussion is different, and, and you know you got to be real sensitive. You got to be real sensitive to it. And, you know, in today's time and and, and safety protocol, you, you know we're, I think we're one of the best at it. Uh, and so, um, when he's feeling right and he can pass the tests, uh, then I know he'll be back out here. Is he is he able to go to classes and meetings? Yeah, yeah, you are. You know, there's there's uh, there's like 21 different tests that you have to do that you have to pass. And you know, the first, you know, when you first get it, the sensitivity to light and video, and even look at your phone sometimes hurts. And then all of a sudden that dwells away, and all of a sudden you're still dizzy from you know activity. When all 21 of those tests get done, then then hopefully he'll be there. Do you ever, as a coach, you know how much the team wants to have success? Yeah. Maybe they. Want it too much, and you have to guard against that going into a game. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I think you, especially when you're around young kids and they want something so bad, sometimes they do the extra instead of just you know doing their job. You know, they try to do something too much, and and you do have to guard against that. And we're just preaching over and over and over again: just do your job. Uh, it, it, don't let your emotion get too high. Just focus on your job. Let your brother do his job, and hopefully, at the end of the day, you wind up being successful because of that. Y'all got some uh, criticism on the like the entrance to to the field. Any, you know? Yeah, I think the kids were. And say, uh, the kids were overly excited, uh, and, and we and we discussed it. Uh, and uh, you know, so had a couple kids that uh, decided uh, they let the pageantry uh, be more than the game. Uh, and uh, it's a learning lesson for us. Like I said, we're, we're, we're not only building a team here, we're building a program and a culture. And one of the things that you'll have to learn from those experiences, because we plan on being back in that atmosphere and handling it the right way. Um, and for every failure and every lesson learned is something that we're gonna gain on in the future. So is it safe to say that at, the, at that, for the game on uh, Saturday, we're not going to see the same dramatic pageantry uh, entering out of the Coliseum uh, Tunnel? I, I would hope not. <laughs> just, just on that note, Chris Hawkins said that the team decided they don't want to do the traditional swing. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Is that something that you've waited on and what they should do or just go no, with I, 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 I think we talked about it on Sunday about what, what we have to do better. We talked all aspects, whether it's assignments, physicality, what we had to do. And, and one of the things I was just really honest with them is, you know, good teams don't worry about the pageantry of games. They worry about doing their job in that type of atmosphere, and that's it. You know, and they made a choice of, and I and I commend the leaders of saying, "Hey, this is this is what we want to do. We want to just go out and play ball." What did you learn about Max Brown? I, you know, what kind of what I saw early. You, you know, he didn't he, 
earlier in his career. Uh, even though he didn't get a ton of reps when he got in, um, every time he had that look of poise about him. Uh, and now it's about the productivity and putting that with it and moving the ball and getting it in the end zone. That's the next step. We played a very good defense um, in the last game, and, and he handled it with poise. It wasn't always perfect, but I thought he did make good decisions. I look forward to this week, and I look forward to him getting that ball in the end zone and being even more productive. Do you anticipate Sam playing this week? We've got him in some situational stuff. I do anticipate him playing. Um, you know, you can look for him in, in red zone and short yard situations. Do you feel like the play calling from last week kind of set up Justin and Rojo for success, or were there some changes that needed to be made? Uh, no, I, I tell you, we, you saw some early down. I even asked one, at one point in time, I said, T, you know, what, what are we right now on first down? And we were running the ball on first down at about a yard to two yards a clip and setting up second and long. Tried to hit a couple play actions, but our success on first down, our first down efficiency is really, really important. We had a lot of second and long, third and longs in that game, which I thought took away opportunities for the run game. First down efficiency is going to be important because when you get to second and six and you get to third and four, that's the opportunities to run the ball rather than having to go back and pass. So um, that first down efficiency usually sets up for more opportunities for backs. Do you want more? your uh, first impression seeing Stevie T? Oh man, um, one thank God he's here. Uh, you know, just just how he holds the point. You know, and that that was a good offensive line, maybe one of the better ones that that we'll see. And to watch him hold the point of attack, especially in the run game, um, is going to be valuable for us in the future. Um, you know, we we created pressure with our edge players, but he was a force. Uh, he was a force in the middle uh, in the run game. And need him to do that this week. This is a very good run team. Steve Sarkeesian got hired at Alabama. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, the fans now are speculating maybe he was helping them out in the offseason. What, what do you think about that? No, I'm just really happy for Coach. Uh, you know, to, he, he's a ball coach, and, and I'm really happy that he's in a good place. Um, in his life and able to do what he loves, which is coach football. And I wish him nothing but the best. The man gave me an unbelievable opportunity to stay in the best place in America, so I'll always be rooting for him, no matter where he's at. Alrighty, guys, thank you. Thank you.